the Despicable Me guy. Hey, what's this? My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf. Hey, check out this hat that my mama made for me. Yeah, she actually knitted this herself. Not too shabby, huh? Looks good. Looks good on you, boy. It's my winter hat. So it's my new favorite winter hat. All right, guys. Well, we are at Big Texas Thrift. And it's the day after Black Friday. I don't even know what I'm doing out, to be honest with you. Most of these stores had 50% off sales yesterday. So I would imagine that most of the stuff has been picked clean. But who knows? Maybe they brought some stuff out. You know, maybe they brought all the good stuff out because I didn't want to sell the good stuff at 50% off. But we're about to head in here and see what kind of goodies they got. We're going to keep our fingers crossed and we're going to pray, 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 pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. Oh, look at that. It's like an Indiana Jones hat. American hat maker. It's not exactly Indiana Jones, but it reminds me of that. All right. Well, what do we got here? Oh, we got a rubber dino a brontosaurus all right anything on these shelves here's a iron man the shelves actually look like they got quite a few things on them so maybe they didn't have a 50 percent off sale i just kind of assumed they did oh, look at these uh transformers yeah he looks like he's missing a good bit of stuff how about this guy is he missing stuff oh he's missing a leg that sucks all right, and what is this thing? Oh, that is cool looking. What's it say here? Whoops. Raptors is what it says. Ah, oh, the propeller's broken. Damn it. All right, we got a dragon over here that's missing his arms. Man, everything's broken today. Like everything. What's this? Oh, it's like a dinosaur mask. Baseball with a little mitt. <laughs> All right, well, I'm not really seeing anything. What's this over here? That's a fire station. That's cool, though. Yeah, it's a neat little playset. All right, what's on this side? Oh, I got some die cast in there. I'll oh, check out this dude. He's got a colorful headdress. And then we got a rubber T-Rex, a rubber Triceratops. What's down here? What's that? Oh, an Elf on a Shelf clothing. 24 Christmas stencils. That looks old. We got a, a, a mitt that looks like a dinosaur paw, <laughs> or whatever you call it. Well, here's a Fisher Price record player. I wonder if this is the newer one or the vintage one. We're about to find out. Let's see, 2014. Yeah, that's the new, the new version. Oh, check out these little Sesame Street toy thingies. These are cute. 2002. What do we have over here? Oh, we got a Star Trek. All right, well, let's grab that for sure. Ten dollars. Are you kidding me? Ten dollars? That's some straight up bullshit right there, man. Ten bucks for that. Unbelievable. I'll probably still get it anyway, but what the fuh. All right, what's this? That's uh, some sort of transformer. He's like made out of rubber though. Well, I don't know if he's a transformer, but he looks like he transforms. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, but I don't think he's a transformer. It's pretty cool though. All right, what's this? Oh, we got a lime green Jeep. And what's this down here? Is this another one of those? No. <laughs> I thought for a second I thought maybe this was another dino bot or something. And check out this motorcycle. I wonder what that goes to. Oh, here's a bat. <laughs> I'm dropping shit. All right. We got a transformer in there. It looks like he might be complete. A Lego car. 
There's this old... Oh, this is that die-cast bag I picked up earlier. I just didn't look at this side of it. What is he? Is he a constructor con? Yeah, it kind of looks like it. All right, let's rummage through some bags here and see what we can find. Oh, they got these elf on a shelf guys, like candy dispensers or something. Got a bag of dinos over here, a mini mouse. And what's this? Oh, it looks like a helicopter and some little green army men and a dinosaur. And what's this? It looks like we've got uh, these little Godzilla looking dudes in here. That's a, oh, there's a Patrick. All right, well, what's here? Oh, we got an Iron Man in there. We've got a TMNT with no head. And uh, the Iron Man looks kind of beat. And a Stegosaurus. Yeah, we've got a, uh, looks like a starting lineup player. Jose Canseco. But other than that, I don't see anything. Uh, looks like maybe a vintage dino. Let's see, anything else? No. Oh, we've got like a triceratops. It looks like he's made out of wood. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of funky looking. And a little tank. Some sort of, uh, what is that? Oh, it's a wind-up dino. Hey, what's this? Dinobots. That's like Transformer stuff, right? Hmm, like turns into a gun. That is pretty cool. I wonder if that's, uh, I wonder if he's complete and I wonder if he's worth anything. I'm gonna have to investigate this. Dang, look at this monster. That is a cool vehicle. Sentinel One, baby. Eight dollars, oh my God, come on. Come on, Texas Thrift, what are you doing? You get your stuff for free. You're supposed to be here to help out people who can't afford. I mean, for eight bucks, I might as well buy this at Target. All right. Let's see. What's this? Oh, yeah, you know what? I should see if they actually have like a VHS section here. Yeah, look at these pink roller skates. Roller skates are awesome. Oh yeah, I forgot this. They do have a VHS section. It's up front here. I've seen this before. Earlier I was like, oh, I should see if they have a VHS section. They do. <laughs> Let's see, anything good here? Doesn't really look like it. All right, well now here's something. Annie. Oh yeah, we'll definitely get Annie. All right, well as cool as this guy is, which by the way, he, I found this yellow piece in his tail on a completely different shelf, so I put it back together, but I'm gonna leave him for someone else to enjoy. I just don't have any need for him really. And he's not really worth a whole lot of money. Look at this bright orange. Scooby-Doo, whoa, <laughs> almost dropped him. Man, these vibrant colors really get me. All right, guys, I got my haul. Oh, <laughs> gotta pick my feet up when I walk. <laughs> if you don't do that, you'll trip. All right, let me show you what I got. It's time for a little show and tell. First up, like I said, I got Annie, the 1980s version. In my opinion, this is the best version of Annie. So I'm excited to get this. I actually have a little collection, a small collection, but I've got a little collection of Annie uh, figures. In fact, I even found like a 19, I think it was like a 1943 salt and pepper shaker of Annie and Sandy, her dog. Uh, in fact, I'll, I'll do a little screenshot here so you guys can take a look at that. I actually found this at Craptastic Sam's. How cool is that? But, uh, yeah, so I've got this little collection of Annie, so this uh, VHS will go well with it. And even though I know I probably overpaid for this, $10, it was just one of those things. It's from the 90s and uh, 1995 to be exact. It's like one of those things where it's like a 90s 
toy on card and I just couldn't pass it up. So I went ahead and paid the 10 bucks for it. Even though I'm not really a Star Trek fan, I do think the action figures are pretty cool. My friend Keith keeps telling me, we're gonna make you an, a Star Trek fan. But I don't know. I don't know, Keith. I'm just, I'm, I just can't get into it. I am a, uh, I'm a Star Wars guy. Original trilogy Star Wars through and through. I ended up snagging this dude. Turns out he's a Power Ranger. And he's a, he's a Zord, a Chogokin, I think is what he's called. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So uh, he's from like 2005. So he's almost 20 years old. But I went ahead and snagged this dude. And then last but not least, I got this guy. He was in that bag for three bucks. The rest of it was just junk. But uh, yeah, I am assuming he's all there. I don't know for sure. I'll have to transform him and see if everything is there, but uh, I do believe he's a Constructicon. So I got this Transformer as well. Hey, we're not off to a bad start considering it's the day after Black Friday and I wasn't expecting anything to be on the shelves. The Dinobot thing was cool, the gun. I just wasn't really sold on, I wasn't totally into it, you know? So I figured someone else could enjoy it. It was only $3 or $4 or something like that. So some kid, We'll get a real kick out of that. And who knows? I said it wasn't worth any money because I couldn't find it on eBay anywhere. But, you know, it's probably one of those things where it's like worth like 80 bucks or something like that. And I just passed up on it. That happens a lot on my channel, if you haven't noticed. It's because I'm not an expert in toys. I just love toys. Everybody always, sometimes I get these people that leave like these stupid comments. They're like, hey, this guy doesn't know Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Like, what kind of a collector is he? It's like, I don't know everything about everything. I can appreciate toys. I love toys. I can look at a lot. Like, you know, for example, like Star Trek. Like, I'm not into Star Trek. I couldn't really tell you anything about Star Trek. But I can tell you, I love the artwork on this card. The figure looks pretty cool. And I can appreciate that. And I can be a lover of that, even though I don't really know anything about Star Trek itself. You know what I mean? So, you know, you guys can, you guys that are leaving those types of comments, uh, you know, for the most part, I just block you. As soon as you leave it, I block. So if you want to leave a comment like that, go ahead. You'll get blocked. I'm not going to deal with people like that. I only want positive people on my channel like you. People like you that really appreciate the hunt, appreciate the thrill of the hunt, appreciate watching me and my family and all of our crazy antics and stuff like that. You know, I appreciate you guys that love us for us, you know what I mean? Not because I, you know, know something about a particular toy line or or if I don't know something, then we're, we're mortal enemies, you know what I mean? Stupid, so just like, just be positive. Put love, love and gratitude and energy out into the world and watch what comes back to you versus all this hate and negativity and stuff. But up next guys, the goodie wheel. Let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we, are here we are at the goody wheel what you got for me today goody wheel what you got for me today hopefully you got some vintage toys hey check this out see these little these statues every time i roll in here i think these dudes are like real people <laughs> and i'm always like oh, look at those people over there and then they're not they're just statues all right let's see what they got in here all right we're approaching the toy zone let's see do we have any Goodies, what do we got? Party games, come on, come on, let's pull out a win, let's pull out a score. I don't think we're gonna find anything. Looks like we're gonna get busted. Winner circle, Kenner, this has gotta be from the 90s, huh? Sure looks like it. Let's see, 19, yeah. 1998 kind of has that same coloring um as the uh the star trek dude the box so all right well i'm not seeing anything there how about over here in plushville that almost looks like a pound puppy but it's not it's kind of the same design got a vader mask All right, well, let's go check the VHS section. All right, I just kind of crawled my way down the floor here. 
I started down there and came all the way to here and I don't see anything I want. I haven't really checked these clamshells. Most of those are gonna be Disney. And uh, the Little Mermaid. That's not the normal Little Mermaid. All right, well, I think we're gonna get busted all the way around here. Hey, check this out. Somebody dumped their clown knickknack collection. Wow. These are pretty neat though. I'll give them that. They're pretty cool. I wouldn't uh, want them, <laughs> but I'm sure somebody will. Hey, look, it looks like a Doughboy, like the Pillsbury Doughboy dressed up like a clown, or maybe Casper dressed up like a clown. But yeah, super cool. All right, busted. Up next, Thrift Giant right there. Just a hop, skip, and a jumping away. I'll see you over there. All right, my friends. We are at Old Thrifty Pants in Irving, Texas, off of Beltline Road or Beltline Boulevard. I don't know. It's Beltline. That's what we call it around here. It's on the Beltline. All right, well, let's see what they got. What do we got over here? North Pole Express. It's a big train set. All right, let's see what do we got on the shelves. Look at that Nerf gun. Oh wow, look at this playset. This has got to be one of those little woodsies playsets. I'm almost certain on it. Kind of has that look. That's cool though, man. I like it. What's this? It's a. Uh, looks like it's supposed to be some sort of Batmobile. All right, well, it turns out if this Batmobile, it's made by a company called NJ Cross, C-R-O-C-E-E, -E, but if it had the hood on it, it'd be worth about 20 bucks. But in this condition, it's worth about five or six, so I'm not gonna get it. And we've got a Ninja Turtle trike. Oh, it's the, uh, it's the Caddyshack gopher. It says press here. Oh, he probably needs batteries. I kind of like that. I think I might actually pick this up. He's only a couple bucks. Oh, look at this uh, cabbage patch. Man, he is heavy. His face. Oh, his face is made out of rubber. He actually talks. Hmm. Is he newer? I think he might be new. I don't know. I'm going to investigate this. Oh, look. He's uh, got a big tub of toys. So I think I'll hang around and see what he puts on the shelf in the meantime look at the size of this thing it's called the judge <laughs> oh god man look at that look at that thing holy holy shnikes oh shit did i just shoot something i think i just shot something all right i better put that down i'm getting to be a little dangerous here ah oh, check this out it's bam bam Ah, oh, I gotta get Bam Bam. How much they want for him? They put a sticker on him? Four dollars? What? All right, well, I'll take him. Got this Humvee he just put out. Looks like it makes sound, but the batteries must be drained in it. Oh, look at this uh, monster truck. Bone shaker. I like that, that's cool. Oh, what do we got here? Bag of dinosaurs, 25 dinos. Look at this Ferrari. Is this the Barbie Ferrari? Let's see, Mattel. 1986, Mexico. Hmm. All right. Is this the Barbie that goes with the Ferrari? Hmm. Oh yeah, I think it is. Huh. If I've got the Ferrari and the Barbie, that might be worth a little something. Oh man, this turned into a vintage 80s toys and vintage 90s toys hunt. Toys, 
90s toys toy hunt. <laughs> Look at that, man. We got the Barbie Ferrari from 1986. And we got the Barbie to go with it. Super cool. I also got the, uh, the Caddyshack Gopher. I'm going to go home and put some batteries in him. And I think I'm just going to keep him. He can chill with me in the bunker. But oh my gosh. I'm pretty stoked over this, man. I'm, I'm jazzed up right now. So <laughs> this is awesome, man. Like I'm not a Barbie collector at all. But like this is the 1986 Barbie Ferrari. I mean, how could you not be excited about that? Even if you're a dude, I'll probably end up selling it. Um, probably on Facebook Marketplace because this is probably be something that's too big to ship. Shipping costs just kill sales, man. It's ridiculous, but I'll probably list her up on Facebook Marketplace. And I think for the two of them, like the Barbie Ferrari itself, I think I saw it selling for $25. I've got the Barbie with it, so I'm, I'm guessing I'll probably get 40 bucks out of this thing. Anyway, oh man. All right, let's jump in the car real quick. Yeah, so here's the little Caddyshack dude. I'm gonna go home and plug some uh, batteries in them and see if I can get them to work. I'm assuming he dances and probably sings that, it's all right, it's the story about me, or however the song goes. But anyway, yeah, you know what? He can just chill here. Let's flip these guys around real quick. Oh, look at that, look at that. Let's get my hat out from there. Look, Barbie has got herself a date. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, it looks like my mama's knitted hat is bringing me some vintage luck. Thanks, mom. So uh, here's what we're gonna do next. I'm gonna start heading home, but I'm gonna probably stop at another thrift store along the way. I don't know which one yet. So wherever I end up, I'll see you there. But uh, yeah, man, I'm all right. I'm all jazzed up. I'm on that jazz. I'm on that 80s jazz. I'm on that 90s jazz. I'm on the 90s jazz. I'm on the 80s jazz. Yeah, this is awesome. I'm really happy. I'm really happy right now. <laughs> all right, let's see you. At the, I'll see you at the next door, wherever that is. All right, guys, we're here. And uh, I'm at this brand new, this not, it's not, it's brand new for me. But it's a thrift store called Genesis Benefit Thrift. And it's actually right near downtown Dallas. And uh, parking spaces are kind of tight around here. So like, I don't got much room between me and the car. So, uh, but anyway, uh, let's head in here and see what kind of goodies they got. I'm kind of excited because it's a new place. I always get excited when we hit up new places. Well, uh, I don't know where it's at. <laughs> I thought it was right here. The GPS said it was right here, but I don't see it. I'm gonna have to, uh, it might be a little bit further down the parking lot that way. So I'm gonna go get the car and uh, take a drive around, see if we can find it. Or maybe, maybe this empty spot right here is where it used to be. Well, that there actually has lights. Oh, it must be on the back side. All right, yeah, I bet it's on the back side. Let's go check this place out. Oh yeah, you can see the workers over there. This is it. Oh, it looks like they got toys here too. That's cool. Look at that Chinook. That's cool, man. Looks like a Batmobile. Some books. I wonder what's inside. Oh, here's a Christmas story glassware. Oh, that's fun. They want seven bucks for that. This place is actually pretty nice. You can uh, get a look here. They've got some nice stuff. I don't see the toys in here, though. I think they're, the toys are just outside, maybe, in the rain of all places. Yeah, I was kind of hoping maybe there were some VHS here, but I don't see any VHS. Just a bunch of DVDs. Oh, this T-Rex hanging here. Oh, he looks like an older one. See, is there a date on him? Oh, 2016, he's not that old. He looked a lot older. Yeah, just a bunch of books. I think this is about it. This copter is pretty cool though, man. All right, guys, well, we got busted. But hey, it was a new place, a new adventure. That was fun. But uh, I'm gonna plug in the GPS now that I'm down here in downtown Dallas. See if I can find another place or two we can hit up before I head home. So I'll see you 
wherever I end up. All right, gang, we are at St. Vincent de Paul, St. Vinnie de Paul. Hey, check out this beautiful tree here behind me in the yellow colors. You see down here in Texas, this is, this is the time of year when the leaves change, like mid to late November. By first week of December, they'll start to fall off the trees and stuff like that. But uh, man, I love the fall. I love all the pretty colors. All right, let's head in here and see if we can find some goodies. All right, well, let's see if we can find anything. Got a bag here, what's in the bag? Mm, looks like nothing, just some smalls. Got a war machine mask. And Mickey car is kind of cute. What's this bag? Yeah, there's a horse in there. Maybe some baby toys. There's a rescue heroes. Oh, and they only want 69 cents for them. That's awesome. Anything else in here? this thing oh it's a uh, Groot or whatever not Groot um what's his name Guru or something like that the despicable me guy hey what's this oh I think this is vintage but I think it's missing some pieces oh wait a second is that another piece down there yeah there's a piece maybe there's another one in here Aha, here's another one. Let's see if there's anything else. Uh, I don't really see anything else. I think those might be the pieces, but I still don't know if it's complete or not. We'll check it out here in a second. All right, well, turns out he's from 2003. And uh, for the most part, I think a good bit of them is here. I'm sure he's missing some things, but he at least transforms into a full robot. So I'm going to pick him up. They want, uh, where did I see the, uh, sticker? Oh, there it is. It's on the back side. I think it's like $3. Yeah. $3 and 50 cents, 49 cents. Yeah. Definitely worth it. Yeah. It looks like we got some sort of women's WNBA bobblehead or something look at these uh vintage cookie cutters i think i might get this and have nicole make us some sugar cookies with these cutters that's awesome reminds me of the ones that my mom had when i was a kid oh and check it out it can also be used as an ornament oh man check it out here's more Oh yeah, 1991. All right, I'll probably grab these too. What are these guys here? Bendy lights? Oh, it's like a flashlight. It goes on, it's like a keychain. Oh, that's fun. It's like a little robot dude. Oh yeah, and his legs are made out of rubber. You can bend them. Oh, look at this. What is this? Pumpkin push-ins. Oh, that's fun. Looks like we got a duck and uh, a little Thai beanie baby, Glory the Bear. What's this down here? The scenery kit. Ah, it's for a diorama. That sucker is heavy. It's sealed too. They only want nine bucks for it. I wonder. Originally it sold for $39.98. I bet you that could be flipped. Right, well, it turns out this thing sells for between like 50 and 80 bucks. So I'm gonna get it, it's brand new sealed. I might have to sit on it for a little bit, but it does look like they move pretty consistently. So I'm gonna snag it for 10 bucks. Oh cool, they got a glass and checker set. And 
all-pro passer. Oh, that's interesting. I guess it passes a football to you. The most accurate quarterback on earth. Interesting. All right, guys. I got the scenery kit. I got the transformer. And the best part was the whole store was 40% off today. So I got everything for $8.43. How freaking awesome is that? Man, leaves a lot of meat on the bone when I go to sell this thing. All right, let's uh, jump in the car real quick, do a quick show and tell, and then we'll hit up one last store for the day. All right, so I got this scenery kit. Learn how to model scenery. Step-by-step -step instructions make this kit fun, easy, even for the beginner. So it originally sold for $39.98. I got it for basically $6, because it was 40% off. And uh, like I said, they sell between 50 and 80 bones. So I'm gonna list this up on eBay when I get home and uh, see if I can sell it and make a little extra kick it cash. All right, now I don't know who this guy is. Maybe you guys can help me out. David Jones, who owns over 600 Transformers. He's a subscriber of my channel. He would know. David, comment below, man, if you can help me out and let me know who this dude is. I have no idea, but I love this like this lime fluorescent green coloring on him. It's really awesome. So I'm pretty sure he's like incomplete, but at least he's able to transform into his vehicle and also his robot form. And uh, I'm not exactly sure what kind of vehicle it is either. I don't know if it's like a uh, supposed to be like a spaceship or something like that. So, but anyway, this is pretty awesome. And I ended up passing on the Christmas cookie cutters. I just had a feeling if I brought them home and told Nicole, hey, will you use these to make some Christmas cookies for me? She'd be like, why'd you bring this junk home? So I just left them on the shelf. You know, I'll get her to make me some Christmas cookies regardless, because I love me some cookies. All right, I think there is a thrift giant right nearby. So we're gonna go there and uh, hit that up and then we're gonna call it a day. So I'll see you over there. All right, y'all. We're here. This is how close it is. So over there, that's St. Vinnie de Paul, and this is Thrift Giant. Now, the last time I was in this Thrift Giant, I think it was this one, I scored a, uh, which it's been a long time since I've been in this Thrift Giant. I think it was last year at this time, but I scored a, uh, like a 2003 G.I. Joe uh, tank, uh, like a, it was like a desert camouflage color it's pretty cool uh so we'll see if they got any goodies in here let's check it out check this dude out it's rudolph he's a wine holder uh that's cool all right well i ain't seeing much of anything just these baby toys looks like there might be some toys on that other shelf uh, what do we got here uh, batteries don't work but yeah this is it pretty weak sauce Look at this. Seatings, seatings, <laughs> seasons, greetings from the Keebler Elves. 1991. They want $1.99 for it. I don't think I can pass that up. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Look at that little dude. I don't know what he's from. He's away from all the toys though. All right. Well, that was a fun way to end the day. The Keebler Elf Seasons Greetings. Now, if I had gotten those uh, sugar cookie Christmas cutter cookie cutters, I could have had Nicole make the cookies and we could put them on the plate. But instead, I'll just have her make chocolate chip cookies and I'll eat them off this plate because I love me some chocolate chip. And hey, if you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. That helps me out. It helps my channel grow. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I got a lot more great content coming your way and over 600 videos that you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're gonna love it.